Greetings, Burke's family. I know I still don't know all of you personally very well because I'm not at Burke's on a regular basis on Sundays. However, now that I've worked at Burke's for over two years and through a pandemic, I'm grateful to feel a sense of belonging in this special community. As we start to resume more and more normal things, I've been noticing how returning to normalcy can feel great and uncomfortable all at the same time. I think that's partially because although we are getting back to doing things we used to do, things have changed and in some ways won't be the same. Some of this change has been very difficult and heartbreaking even, but I also hear more and more people saying that some things have changed for the better. They appreciate things more or they needed to make some changes and this pandemic has allowed or even forced them to make some changes. However, even welcome change can be difficult and come with growing pains. Being connected to people, whether you are an introvert or extrovert, makes a huge difference in how smoothly we navigate changes in our lives. The Bible has a lot to say about living in community, and here are two examples. Galatians chapter 6, verse 2 says, Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 and 10 says, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. We have some pretty amazing Sunday school classes and small groups at Berks that really function as families within the larger church family. If you are not plugged into a Sunday school class or other small group at Berks, please reach out to me or one of the pastors to get connected. It is my prayer that you know that the staff of Berks is here for you, but more importantly, that God is here for you always. In closing, I want to take a few minutes to share a song that has been a comfort to me and a reminder of God's steadfast love in times of change. Quite a price.